So welcome guys to another video and um, in this video I'm going to just show you how to um, get um, multiple values from PHP to um, JavaScript function. So um, I just created a simple um, web page and what it's supposed to demonstrate um, is just I'll just enter my name blah 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 and then when I click on display it takes this to my server and then my server script, my PHP script, and processes that data. You know, get my age, my um, email address. Oh, blah 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 blah, and all that. It just retrieves my information to the JavaScript um, function, and then displays it on an alert. So that's just the idea. Get the name, take it to um, the PHP uh, script, process it on the database, and then retrieve it back to um, the JavaScript function and display it as. I mean on and a lot so let's get started so I just created this form I'm um, assuming you guys already familiar with on um, form so just note that um, you have to give the form a name and you have to give your inputs a name I'm just using one input so you just have to give you um, two input rather so and then on your on my button on my button click event I just use get multiples that's the name of my function my JavaScript function. So let's get started. Um, dollar the post. I guess it's going to create now. Mm, you could give this any name now. I could just give this PHP name. You just give that any name. And now, um, to take the data from this um, text, oh, I say text field. Um, this input box. I'm just going to have to give the form name and the uh, input um, box name dot value so it's just going to be form dot of id dot value so and then we're going to enter the server address or our php file address or path so currently i have two um, php files the first one is um, holds my HTML codes, and then the, the second one holds my um, server um, codes. Oh no, my process that will process the data that will be received. So what basically happens here is that it takes um, the data from this text box right here, and then posts it to this my um, my second.php, which will be processing um, the file. Uh, sorry, the the value. So next, um, we're going to receive that file. I'm going to create another sub function. You could just call this anyone. You could call it output or data, just anyone. For now, you guys should just follow me because um, it seems like I'm performing magic in a, in a bit, but it's actually quite simpler than it looks. Okay, so let's continue then after sending that um, stuff to the PHP file we're going to retrieve it, we're going to receive it rather so we could name a variable and we're supposed to receive it and insert it into a variable so we could name a variable let's just name it name um, you could give it a name you want and then here we're going to do dollar underscore post now the name that we used here the name we used here Please keep in mind whatever is in this text box, which is the form dot of id dot value, is what is in this PHP name. So, and that's what we're going to be using here, PHP name. So, in this tutorial, I'm not going to actually show you how to use an SQL, blah blah blah, you know, the codes and all that. Just because this is just a simple tutorial on um, getting um, values from PHP, multiple values from PHP to um, um, a JavaScript function right here. So, what we're going to have to do, just assuming we have a database code, we have used this name right here, the name that was imputed right here, to search the database and retrieve some certain information. Let's just say age. I'm going to manually do this. Let's just say age 21, for example. Um, um, let's say email address, for example email email would be um let's just say you 
can use an I'm just I'm just giving an example. Okay. So next we have to encode all this information that we have now into a um into a JSON. So JSON encode, this is just actually how it works. So JSON encode this is JavaScript variable, one PHP variable, one you know it's just a demo um, stuff just for you guys to understand so first of all I'm just going to name mine var1 I'm just then, then var2 and then var3 of course so so I'm going to name this one the name that we just got from here that we just got the next will be the age and then next will be the email so this would make sense here right here so this output actually you know we sent this um, text from this text box to our second.php file here so this um, function this output here actually um, receives that um, Oh, we haven't even echoed it yet. Receives whatever we um, output from this second.php file now into this uh, JavaScript uh, function. So, but we have to first of all decode it. I know in React Native, if we're in React Native, you you know JSON decode blah 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 and all that. So, but in um, JavaScript, you just actually use just create another variable. Let's just say. Um, Let's just say info as the name of the variable, and then we're going to use JSON dot pass. Looking close to C sharp code somehow. So then we enter the output. You can name this anything. If it's output, if it's data, you can name it. If it's mama, <laughs> anything. Just put anything in there. Just make sure there's consistency. So next we're going to now alert this. We need to now alert, let's say, alert name is, please keep in mind um, the name we used here, this is what we're going to use to reference each variable. So to do this, we're going to use info.var1, I still remember, just var1, which is the name. And then just going to duplicate this. Duplicate this. H is info dot var two. I guess it's H. I guess it's H. Yes, it's H. So and then um, email is equal equals an info dot var three. So what it actually do, does it it decodes um, this output uh, into like an array and put it into this um, info variable so we can now use info that var1 just like the name we used here the JavaScript variable name and all that so now we're ready to go let's just run this application oh I forgot something I forgot to comma here okay so let's go ahead and run this I'll just refresh this page and say um, I'll just use my name majesty display name is majesty age is 21 and an email is mj1tech at gmail.com so that's pretty much simple um thank you guys for watching this video um please like and um subscribe for free it's ab absolutely free if you found this video helpful and um i'll see you next time bye